Hi and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. Today guys we're going to be jumping back down into the charts for Bitcoin, see what's been going on most recently and what I think is likely to happen next. As I get into this video if you find it useful and informative hit the like button, I really do appreciate that. If you happen to be new to the channel why not go ahead and subscribe, tap the bell, select all notifications and in doing so you will be kept up to date with everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. If you have not yet joined us in Discord, links in the description down below, fantastic community talking crypto 24-7. It's completely free to join and I don't think you'll be disappointed by what you find down there. So why not go ahead and check it out today. Let's get into this then, right? Bitcoin paired up with USDT. This is our hourly chart and Binance is our data source. So uh, what we'll do is we'll start things off by just kind of zooming out a tad here. I was mapping this as a five wave move. I no longer think that this is exactly the right structure. I think we're, we're still moving down in this general direction. It's fine uh, from that kind of perspective, but I don't think it's a five wave structure anymore. Instead, I think this is a really complex corrective move. Um, so this is probably going to be a string of corrective patterns pulled together, something like a triple three or something like that. Um, essentially, I'm not going to go through and map all of these in the video today. I'll at some point will go through this and I will map the more complicated moves and then I will show you what's going on down this end okay but I'll zoom in right now obviously we had this yesterday down at 36,000 to 37 and a half thousand dollars we obviously hit the 37 and bounced um, essentially we would look we would, would, would normally be looking for five waves here and um, but instead this is actually just looking like we are um, basically pulling down in some kind of you know, WXY some ABC function right um, nothing too strenuous now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna refine things a little bit here okay because I think we're going to head down. I think that much is pretty clear. Um, but what's not necessarily clear is the pattern, right? So I'm going to give you a new target that I think is the most probable. Okay. And um, it's slightly lower than these ones, right? So originally, we're, yesterday, we we're talking about 36,000 to 37,500. We hit the 37,500. We've bounced a little bit. Um, and we're going to pull back down into this range. It's still possible that we actually just finish up inside this box. Um, and, you know, for the most part, it would look like a five wave move complete. But I don't think this really would actually constitute a final fifth wave right that, that pattern so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this low point just here okay and uh, we're going to take this high point up on this fourth wave i'm going to move this over to this high here and here we can see that we could move to about thirty six thousand two hundred and thirty four okay um so what i'll do is i will uh i'll grab myself a little horizontal ray and i'll just drop that there right and then i'm going to remove this fib then i'm going to do some sense checking as well right let's just hypothetically say um that we uh you know we've kind of come back down here we've bounced up a little bit we're going to pull back down what would this little move also tell us would it also tell us that we are likely to move uh, into the same kind of area is it going to tell us something different uh, here we actually look at 35,600 so we get another bit of a range here right so we start thinking about where we're going to end up from the most probable perspective we can narrow this down ever so slightly and refine our um our positions right so if I grab this, we can see there's a little bit of overlay here, right? A little bit of overlay between what we was thinking yesterday, 36,000, 37 and a half. Um, and basically here we're talking about more of an 882. Um, so, you know, we are basically actually on the 786 even, right? If we think of it from that perspective, right? The 786 being 36,271 all the way down to the 35,000. Uh, 665 and um, so we're right down in this sweet spot right so i don't think we're overly going to be too far off what we we're talking about yesterday and um, but i do think there's going to be a likely uh we're going to see you know some kind of pullback right and if we look at it from this perspective here where we are pulling to to this point okay that's a big kind of abc structure and then we start thinking about subwave structures we've got one here that could take us right down into this sweet spot okay we bring the stochastic rsi into play and we can see that we're overbought so we should also think that we are likely to have this pullback now the four hourly chart is almost into its oversold area. So that's almost ready to go. It's almost in a good spot. So we think a pullback's likely. The eight hourly, same thing, right? Almost there. The daily coming down quite nicely, almost there. The weekly chart, actually, you know, it's progressing quite nicely. So overall, we're actually doing a lot of good work across these charts. I know it can seem like we are um 
you know, doing a, a landslide or whatever. But these corrections, they are very much needed. If I zoom on out, we we're talking about, you know, moving up towards that 30, uh, sorry, that $48,000 range, right? That that one up there. It was a massive move, okay, taking us from our $32,000 lows all the way to the top, a little bit of volatility. And all we're doing now is watching the same volatility. Now, it's possible that what we've done here is actually have a bounce right in the middle, okay? And this is why I don't think necessarily this is a five-wave structure as well. We bounce up. And then we pull back down. Now, if we take a look at this from our slightly larger perspective, let me grab hold of this candle wick if I can. I'm going to have to zoom in a little bit further. Let me try that. Uh, come on. Yeah, man. Oh. No, I'm going to have to zoom in. Okay, that's fine. Let me zoom in a little bit. Uh, we'll take this one. So if we take it from uh, this low point right here, come on. There we go. Cool. And then we just go ahead and move this all the way up to the top, right? And we start thinking about where this work is. There we go. Uh, and we move this over to our bounce, which we've labeled up at wave four at the moment. But I don't think that's necessarily uh, the right thing to call it. But, you know, we'll we'll leave it as a wave four for now. And I'll, I'll find, when I find some time, I'll, I'll draw out the more complicated moves. Uh, this would show us moving down to 34,000, um, you know, 370. Again, very, very close to my low range target. Okay, and I think if we were to move down there overall, okay, on this much larger structure of an ABC in the same way that we had ABC up, um, essentially, what we'd be looking at is a low point of about uh, $34,000. Right. And, um, if I yeah, grab that C wave now and just pull it back up here, right? So this would basically put us into a position of a um, higher low, right? Okay, and then no guarantee that we actually finish here. If we think about the other areas that we might find good support on, what do we have? Well, we do have the 786, the 702, the 618. This is also the area that we're looking for for this final kind of pull back down. So a reversal is likely, okay, when we get down into these lower ranges. If we do go down as low as $34,000, $35,000, I do think that the daily is going to be oversold, the weekly is going to be oversold, um, pretty much most of the time frames being oversold and ready for primed for another move upwards. Okay, so if we come up into our daily chart, and uh, I know this is really messy, so I apologize, guys. I will tidy this up at some point. Um, essentially, what we'll be talking about is a bigger move going up, right? Um, and what we would look for here is another ABC structure, maybe going right the way back up to those $48,000 ranges. Okay, it wouldn't be a straight line. Uh, as you can see here, we actually had more of a flat, right? We had a one comes right up, one comes down, one goes back up again, uh, and all that kind of good stuff. And the other thing that we could be looking for here considering uh, abc up abc down uh, might actually be to finish it off with five waves up right um, and again you know it's a three three five corrective pattern after pulling down quite significantly so um you know this is actually a an abc structure coming down here as well now what we're also looking for uh, is overall uh you know these bigger kind of moves that have been going on and playing out uh, and so, yeah, I think there's a lot to kind of look at, lots of things to kind of look forward to. Um, and essentially, we could be looking at this kind of move going on up here uh, to the next kind of level. So I think, yeah, there's uh, there's too much to kind of speculate exactly what's going to happen. But the move down is probable. It's going to be coming down into these low ranges that I've spoken about. And these are the most common that I would be what we should be expecting to see. It doesn't mean that they're going to happen. It just means it's that we would expect to see um, towards that, you know, $34,000 at the complete low range all the way up into that sweet spot that we were just talking about, 35,600, um, 36,000, uh, 36, uh, and so forth, right? So I think you're right in that sweet spot. It seems to be the most probable area for the retracement. And then we should start to move on up. But I didn't necessarily think that we are, you know, completely done with this correction until we come down to the $34,000 range. Once you're down in that low range for the C wave completing this entire move, then we continue to, to kind of get that good push to the upside. Um, and again, it should be a pretty significant one. It might might you know, start out uh, reasonably well. It might turn into an impulsive five-wave structure. Um, but again, we are still looking at corrective patterns overall. And there isn't actually too much going on here other than a series of, of corrections being strung together. Um, but again, if we jump over into our uh, monthly, uh, we can basically acknowledge the stochastic RSI being completely oversold in the way that it is. And, um, you know, this is the place that we want to be. This is the place that we were um, when we started uh, back here in wave one um, before we actually started to get the serious good movements to the upside. So uh, essentially, guys, if I just kind of summarize everything I've been talking about in this video today, uh, we should be thinking short term pullback, right? We might move a little bit higher um, and this is fine. You can see a little bit green right now, but we are overbought. 
and we do need to come back down. The most probable area for us to come down into seems to be labelled up now at about 35,600 and 36,200, um, but it could actually land anywhere in this yellow box area here uh, lower than $37,500, okay? Um, that seems to be the most probable area that we should be thinking about and should be expecting, in my opinion. After of which this is done, we should then start to see good structure start to form, start to move up on the slightly longer time frames, and these are the things that will play out over several weeks and months, etc. Um, so guys, I'm going to leave the video there. If you have found this useful and informative, hit the like button. I really do appreciate that. If you happen to be new to the channel, why not go ahead and subscribe, tap the bell, select all notifications, and in doing so, you'll be kept up to date with everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. With all that said, done and out of the way, I hope everyone has a fantastic day, and I'll catch you all in the next one.